via Facebook. Now, I'm an old veteran, but don't worry about what war I fought and where I was at and where I've been. Well, best believe old man Mickey tells no lies. Old man Mickey been everywhere, seen everything, did everything. Trust old man Mickey when I say this. So when I talk, I talk about experience and what I've been through. To bring it back to the public and maybe you too can grow like old man Mickey. Now, I ain't gonna just sit back and talk bull crap without backing the pump. You might have heard one of my sit-downs when I talk about lazy kids. These lazy-ass kids with these big stomachs and these titties popping out over the place. That's something you're supposed to get when you're 60, 60, 65, maybe 70. You don't get that now. We don't do that. If you dance, if you do some type of activities, sports, anything that's keep you mind and keep your body healthy, you must do. Old man Mickey did it. Old man Mickey still can do it. Old man Mickey still can boogie and get on down on a good foot. Even though I hurt myself doing war, but sometimes old man Mickey got to go beyond Call of Duty to teach these kids that old man Mickey know what he's talking about. You ready? Old man Mickey's going to show you how to boogie and keep yourself healthy. Old man Mickey has spoken. Are you ready? Are you ready to get down with the get down with old man Mickey? Yeah. 
glasses off, puts them back on, couldn't believe. I saw a little man's crotch on the bus. I told that man, I said, get out of my face. Get out of old man Mickey's face. With that pool crap, pick up your pants. Pants on the ground, okay. pants on the ground. And I gave him a look of war and a note that I'm a concerned parent and a veteran of the streets and a war soldier. Hard knocks. Got a degree, dual degree in hard knocks. The school of hard knocks. So, if you ever want to think you a gangster, put on your pants. Put on a suit. Put on a shirt and tie. That's gangster. That's a real gangster. To go against the norm, and get yourself a good job and go to school. Now that's gangster. Pants on the ground. Pants on the ground. That's not fashion. Looking like a fool with your pants down. Put your goddamn pants up. Wear a belt. Hat turn sideways. Good pants. 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 And your boom o'clock self come in my ass. I'm just gonna open up a can of whoop ass. I will open up a can of whoop ass to any young individual tell me not to pull their pants up. Come my face. After I tell you to pull your pants up, see what happens. Old man Mickey's gonna use the cane. I haven't used the cane in years, but god damn it, I will. To prove a point, to go against the call of duty, old man Mickey will do. Don't. Take no chance messing with old man Mickey. I have talked. I have spoken. Old man Mickey has spoken. Put your goddamn pants up. God damn it. Damn. You want to be the same age as old man Mickey or older. You want experience with old man Mickey experienced. You want to come one with old man Mickey. I know you do. We all can't be old man Mickey, but we can strive to be. Best we can be. Old man Mickey. It's not a fairy tale. I'm old man Mickey. I'm real. School of Hard Knocks, Veterans of the Street. I've seen it. I've done it. And God damn it, old man Mickey will do it again. Believe it as I say it, it's truth. I had a dream. Woke up from a, a nightmare that. Michael Jackson was sitting and talking now with uh, Martin Luther King Jr. And Martin Luther King Jr. got mad at Michael Jackson. Told him he could have did more. Michael Jackson said, What do you mean more? Dr. King, what do you mean more? And Dr. King said, More. Michael Jackson said, what do you mean more? I gave him all that I could give. Martin Luther King said, you could have gave them family. Family, family, family. You had the power to quit music. And take care of your family, put family first. And it got rid of your pain, your sorrow, and all together, all that bullcrap that's around your arena. 
put family first. That is the ultimate thing in life. Put family first and you can't go wrong. And Michael Jackson cried. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. had a dream. And to this day, we still did not accomplish it. So, were you waking up from this nightmare? We gotta keep on doing it. Teach one, teach everybody that Marlon the King Jr. dream has not been fulfilled. The war's not over. Just because we got Barack Obama as president don't mean for us to stop. Oh man, Mickey know what he's talking about. Get off that section eight and buy yourself a house. At this time I have the honor to Get off welfare while you got a chance, the while there's still jobs. Of our nation. Oh man, Mickey has spoken. I have the pleasure to present to you Dr. Martin Luther King. <laughs> Rock and Raw CEO, producer, actor, editor, writer for Rock and Raw Television, Rock and Raw TV. You can watch me on YouTube. Get me on Facebook. Uh, you might you might know me as uh, Scooby Don't, uh, the character Babu the Psychic. And of course, Old Man Mickey. Um, coming soon, another sketch art character, the Chinese Brothers. Um, you can catch my, um, uh, my movie coming out uh, sometime next year. I got a documentary coming out at the beginning of next year. Uh, Rock and Rock TV, got a lot of stuff going on. Of course, you know I like to, to bring good entertainment and good television. So, I like to re innovate, you know, bring things that uh, people forget or, or maybe don't even know. And sometimes I like to bring comedy with it to, to, to make it easy on the, uh, the person to endure education or in kind of some kind of information through maybe humor. And, but this one I can't. Um, can't throw no humor into this one. This is something that I, I remember reading when I was in college, and it was like a one of the illest writings, I mean, readings I've read before in my life. It's called the William Lynch Letters. A lot of you guys probably know what it is. You probably heard it, went to one day out the other. Some people don't, don't even know it exists. Um, a lot of youths don't know. Um, it was said not to be written. It was a myth. But in my hands, I have the William Lynch letters, and I would like to to save them. Maybe I can touch one person. Uh, first of all, the William Lynch letter was these letters that was written back in seventeen, well, around seventeen twelve by Willie Lynch. Willie Lynch was a a British slave owner, and he came to Virginia to teach uh, the, the colony here at the time on a, on a, on a method of, of keeping slaves, uh, slaves. Um, um, the, the speech was said to be delivered by Willie Lynch on the banks of James River in the colony of Virginia in 1712. He was invited. Because uh, I guess this, at, this, at the time the slaves were running amok. Um, um, this is how the beginning of the William Lynch letter starts. Greetings. Gentlemen. I greet you here. On the bank of the James River. In the year of our Lord. 1,700 and twelve. First, I shall thank you, the gentlemen of the colony 
of Virginia for bringing me here. I'm here to help you solve some of your problems with slaves. Your invitation reached me on my modest plantation in the West Indies where I have experimented with some of the newest and still the oldest method for control of slaves. Ancient Rome would envy us in my program is implemented. As I boat sailed south on the James River named for our illustrious king whose version of the Bible we cherish. I saw enough to know that your problem is not unique. While Rome used cords of wood as crosses for standing human bodies along its highways in great numbers. You are here using the tree and the rope on occasions. I caught the whiff of a dead slave hanging from a tree a couple of miles back. You are not only losing valuable stock by hanging. You are having uprising. Slaves are running away. Your crops Sometimes left in the field too long for maximum profit. You suffer occasional fires. Your animals are killed. Gentlemen. You know what your problems are? I do not need to elaborate. I am here to enumerate your problems. I am here to introduce you to a method of solving them. In my bag here, I have a full proof method for controlling your black slaves. I guarantee every one of you that if installed correctly, I will control the slaves for at least 300 years. My method is simple. Any member of your family or your overseers can use it. You got to go online and read the Willie Lynch letters. I, I can't, I can't. You do the math, you Google it. Rock and ride them out. Peace.